All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how to make an assignment. Now, an assignment can house um, external links and documents and resources, or you can list them separately. So if you want to just put a link in your materials folder, you can add it here, or you can add a page where you dump a bunch of resources. And those aren't necessarily assignments. They're just tools for the student to use. But if you actually want to make an assignment, you're going to click Add Assignment. And we're going to go ahead and title this assignment. And then we're going to go over some of the features. So if I minimize this up here, you can see that it basically has all the same options that creating a folder had. So you can edit your text and you can also insert content. If I expand it, you get a couple more options like inserting a table. So the first thing we're going to do is add a link and there's a couple options for this and a little bit of redundancy. So let's say I want to link to my assignments for the week. I can type, highlight, click link, and then paste the link that I want that goes to my assignments page. I also can click insert content, link, and it will bring me to the exact same place. And last but not least, you can link as an attachment to the assignment. So this is all in the body of the description. But if we didn't want to clutter this up and we just wanted it as an attachment, you can do that as well. All right, so that's linking. Um, next thing that we're going to go over is adding different content. So you can insert images and media in a couple of ways. So if we want to do it inside the description, we can click this guy and I can attach a file from my computer. And it shows up in the body of the description. I can also attach something from the web and I can attach an image or I can attach media. So I'm going to show you how to um, create an embedded link inside of media. Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to go to YouTube. You're going to find the video that you want to embed. So maybe I'm going to embed the districts and you're going to click on share and embed. You're going to copy this, come back, and paste it right there and then click insert media. Now if I scroll down you'll see this right here which once I click create on the assignment will actually be a link to that YouTube video. Alright so um, that's one way to add a link to a video. Now I could also if I want add a file right there so that's this image I just added it to the bottom of the assignment instead of embedding it in the assignment description. Now, we also could add YouTube videos directly from this import content. And we're also going to go over how to add uh, resources from your Google Drive. But since we're adding videos, let's do YouTube first. All right, 1916 project. I want to add this video. So I'm going to import as embedded and now that's going to be below the school board meeting video. All right so now let's say I want to um, embed one of my Google Docs. I don't want to link to the assignments which is this guy here. I want to actually embed it as a document. So the way that I can do that is I can come up here and I can click Google Drive Resource App, which notice that's also available down here. You can grab whatever it is that you want. So um, I'll just do this guy. I'll click Import. And you have options. You can import it as a link or as embedded. I'm going to click embedded so you can see what that's going to look like. Once I hit create, it'll be this guy right here. Okay, so you can also do the same thing by clicking on this guy. Click 
click attach, and now it's an attachment. Now notice what this attachment says though. This will create a copy of your file for each student. So if you wanted to attach a worksheet for the kids to do, this would be the way to do it. If you attach it up here as a link, um, you're gonna have to change the end of the link to um, right here where it says edit. You would delete this part and you would type the word copy. Uh, but this does it for you, which is really nice. So um, there's two more things gotta show you. So we can also add resources from Schoology. So you, you might not have any resources yet, but once you start building in your resources, you can attach files from your resources. We can also add an audio or a video. So let's do audio only, allow, start recording. Hi students, welcome to class. To uploading, insert, you can see that down here at the bottom. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. We went over links, inserting media, stuff from Google Drive, how to do it to create a copy, YouTube, and then attaching files this way. The one feature I'm not going over right now is this external tool. Um, tools are still currently being added, so we'll do that later. But once you have everything set, you're gonna pick what you want your rubric or scale to be, how many points, do you want it ungraded, do you want it listed as your exam, you can set it as the midterm or final, grading period, and then you can set a factor so it's worth double or half. And then you can assign, um, we can make it published or unpublished. And we can also assign the due date. So I'll just pick a random date. It'll default to midnight. You can change that if you want. You can lock it. Unlocked lock on, lock now. So maybe I want to lock it um, September 1st. So I can add that so it's visible to the students, but it will lock and not, um, you can't submit after that date. And I can customize it to specific sections if I want. I can also add learning objectives, which is not available right now, but is supposed to be. Um, I can assign it to individual students, I can disable or enable the grading stats, and I can copy it to other courses. Once I have everything set, I'm going to click Create. Alright, so here's homework 10. Notice that the only thing that's appearing here right now is just the text in the body. I'm going to click here. And we now can see that these are links, this uh, image, um, here's my videos, and then here is that embedded um, spreadsheet I included. You can see that we also have, this is the one that's created an individual for each student. So this is their copy of that file that I added. And then here's the attachments. Now, one thing I didn't go over, but I just want to let you know is possible. If I had clicked or selected on this image, I could have also linked it as well. So you can make images link the exact same way that we linked this first assignments for the week. You just select it, you click the link button, and you add a link to it. Now you can go between sections. You can view who started it and our submissions, and we can filter by who's been graded, who's late, who's on time, and who needs to be graded. The last thing we're going to show is, let's go back. So I created this assignment just in the materials, but let's say I actually wanted to put it inside of chapter one. I can grab it, I can drag and drop. The only problem with dragging and dropping is it's a little bit wonky, so you got to kind of hold it over where you want it to go, and then you can drop it and release it.